Oh, hey guys, welcome back to the Sunday Squad. I'm Kasha and this is Ellen. Hey, what are you doing down there? This paddle is too juicy. Anyway, come up here. Hello. So today while we were doing um, playing in our bedrooms, we heard our mum doing something in the kitchen. And so we decided to come see what she was doing. And she was doing something with lots and lots of carrots, as you can see. And I'm just using the peeling that we did with it. And <laughs> asked our mum what she was doing, and she said that she was peeling some carrots. And we asked if we could help. And if you can see, we peeled a lot of carrots. <laughs> and so if you're wondering what it's called, it is called good, it's like a sweet. And it's called Gadrella in Indian, but you can just call it a carrot pudding. Let's start peeling. It's a lovely shaped carrot. I want to eat another one so badly. I want a carrot. So me and my brother were actually going to clean his room, but we decided to help our mum make a gel in the kitchen. And stay with us till the end to see how it turns out. It's so much fun. It is so cool guys. I love to play with this. Yeah, of course you do. Yeah, because the carrot is like, like the carrot when you peel it off them, you just like to get to play with it. So cool. He likes playing with everything. Everything that we make. So we're all done peeling and now it's time to wash them. Now I'm going to wash them and then leave them to drain. Now I've just got these carrots and I'll come back when they're clean. It's time to grate the carrots and I'm going to do two at a time to make it faster. I'm going to put it on three. It's very loud. I've just got this much left and I'll be back when I finish grating them. So now we have finished grating all the carrots and now we're going to do the next step, so stay with me. I'm moving on to the next step, which is the cooking step, but before we do that, look who's here to help, my little baby sister. But it's quite hard to cook with her, so I'm going to pass her to my mum. And yes, my mum is filming me, I'm not doing all the cooking. She is touching all the hot stuff and all that. But my mum's guiding me and I'm just helping her. And so the next step is to put the grated carrots into the pressure cooker. And we are just doing this to it and waiting until it's not raw anymore. Carrots are cooking. Um, I was just having a little break because it's a lot of hard work. And while the carrots are cooking, I just realized that me and my mum make this every winter and every year. And it's actually really healthy for you and it's good because when it's winter it's cold and this is actually quite warm when you eat it. And when you're like just keeping it, you can just keep it in the fridge and whenever you want it, you can just warm it up and eat it. You will also need some cardamoms. In Indian it is called ilachis. And you don't need the skin, you just need the seeds for some flavouring. And this is how it looks like with the skin on. And now I'm just going to crush them. And then you're just going to mix that. My mum's just going to help me. 
We also need some almonds and if you didn't peel the skin off, you can put it in water and put it in a microwave for about one minute and we'll see if the skin comes off easier. So I'm only just going to take a handful and pop it in some water. And maybe just one more. And a little bit. <laughs> and that should be about enough. Now I'm going to see and put it in the microwave. I took them out of the microwave and they were so hot, so I had to put these on. And now we just have to let them cool down and then we can start peeling. Now we're gonna start peeling them. And you might wanna be careful because sometimes they can just jump out of your hands. So here's the tip guys, if you don't have time or you forgot to soak um, them. You can just put them in the microwave and they'll be ready to peel. So we now have to take the almonds and pop them in here and crush them. And I've already done a couple but now we have to do all these. Now I'm going to add the crushed almonds into the carrots. and then mix that. So now I'm going to add the sultanas and I'm not going to put all of them, I'm just going to ask my mum how much I should put. A little bit more? Yep, keep going. Just tell me when to stop. More. Looks really yummy. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay. Now we need to add half a cup of sugar into the carrots, maybe not the whole thing. I'll just see when my mum says if that's enough. We can always put less first and then try. Okay, we'll try that much. Because we have a solution when it's less. Yep. And if you put too much, we can't take the sugar out. <laughs> yep. And after this, we'll see if it's sweet enough. That's right. Just tasted it and we need to add more sugar because it wasn't sweet enough. So we're just going to add all of it. The last and final process is to make the dry reduced milk. And the ingredients you'll need is clarified butter, thickened cream and powdered milk. If you, My mum made this yesterday. And if you want to know how she made it, we'll do a separate video on it. So, you'll need a little bit of this. One scoop, yeah. One scoop of it. And add it to your pan. Added half the bottle of the thickened cream, and now that it is boiling, my mom's gonna add the powdered milk. Now she's gonna mix. Wow, it's starting to get thicker and thicker, and it's turning to a, into a really nice consistency. Yeah, we want this to go more thicker. And then it will I have been really enjoying this time and it is actually a time consuming but it's still worth it and it's really fun. Our reduced dry milk is ready. We are just waiting on our carrots to dry a little bit more. Now we are adding the dry reduced milk into our carrots.
we just move the carrots from there into the bigger pan so it's easier to stir. Make sure you have mixed that all equally. Wow, look at our carrot halva, our carrot pudding, our gadrella. It looks so yummy and the colour is amazing. And I can't wait to try my one. Looks like my little sister wants some as well. I'm going to try it. I'm so excited. Mm, that is delicious. I could eat this every day. Mm. She look, it looks like she also wants some. This is so good. You should really try making this at home. Look who we have here. My baby sister. Do you also want to try some? You're too little. Just wait till you're older and you can have as much as you want. Okay? Say bye. And say thanks for watching. Bye. I really enjoyed making this and I really enjoyed um, spending time with my mom. I really had so much fun and I think you guys should do it as well. It's just amazing. And also, once again, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and help your parents. Bye.